So guys, I am back with another How Divers 2 video and today guys, we have a very, very interesting one for you. Today we check out the future of this game. I would say near future, but I'm going to predict about a month or two away. But what we'll go over today guys is obviously spoiler territory. So if you don't want to be spoiled on the future of this game and what's to come and what's to happen, you may just want to leave the video as of right now. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm the winner of my 2100 super credits giveaway from yesterday. You can see on screen now. If this is you, hit me up on my Discord link down below to claim your winnings. Now, do you guys want to win 2100 super credits? It's as simple as this. Liberate this video with a massive thumbs up. Make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and drop me a comment down below. I will pick the winner from the comment section of this video and announce them on tomorrow's How Divers 2 video. So good luck, everybody. Okay, so yesterday or the day before, we got a big patch for the game. You know, the one where they nerfed our favorite weapons and stratagems. But within the patch files on the PC version of the game, uh, data miners and leakers were able to extract information uh, to more or less tell us and showcase to us what's going to come in the near future of this game. Today, guys, I've accumulated all the details we have together. Uh, I correspond them with a prediction we got about a month back by some genius uh, in regards to the law and today guys i bring you what i believe is going to happen in the near future of this game again this is spoiler territory so yes keep that in mind okay so about a month ago now we got this law prediction based of what we know and what's been data mined again this is a month back people this was put together by i believe scissors 280 over on the How Divers Leaks Reddit. Uh, but slowly, as time has gone on, this thing has looked more and more accurate. And you're seeing it on the screen now, like I said. We can see right there, guys, where it started on the left-hand side. And as we come down, we come to the Automatons Invade Cyber Stand. Pretty cool. Uh, ignore TCS and fight bots. And then, guys, we have the Terminid Super Colony on Meridia which is where we are at right now in regards to this video and how I'm going to try and piece this all together and predict the near future. Okay, so yesterday, guys, we got these very, very interesting images, which you're seeing on screen now. So at the points of the Terminated Super Colony on Meridia, that is where we are at. And it's the case you can see by these new images. Now, if you are wondering why it stays Omicron, that's because these had to be modded into the game on a current available planet. So it just says Omicron there, but it will say Meridia. There's no two which ways about that. Now, somewhere at this point, at this time frame, people, we will work with or investigate dark fluid. Now, this render we can see by Iron Sight showcases a dark fluid research station or part of it. And it's this dark fluid, which is something we indeed encounter along the way. And it's dark fluid, which I believe we use to indeed take out the super colony and will lead to the destruction of a planet. We can also, guys, depending on what path we take, whether we win uh, or fail, we could indeed hurt ourselves too, which will come too. So there are three videos that have been data mined uh, over the past day or so. These, I believe, are three different outcomes here. And the first one you'll see on screen now, now it's very interesting, and it's all to do with a dark fluid facility. Now, this is what I believe will be the main priority of what we have to do here in regards to us winning or failing. But it does also seem that there is a third option here too. Now, the one you're seeing on screen now is when we fail where we try and use that dark fluid as a weapon, I do believe, and it backfires on us, and there is a dark fluid incident. Check it out. Good afternoon. Today, millions of citizens across the galaxy attended processions in memoriam for those lost in the Moradesh dark fluid incident. As most viewers are likely aware, the planet of Moradesh was collapsed into a singularity following a disastrous meltdown at the dark fluid research facility. First responders continue to search for survivors, but due to the effects of time dilation, 
Any escapees are unlikely to be found for at least 100 years. While investigators look into the cause of the incident, Hell Divers continue to defend against the terminated onslaught from the Meridian Super Colony after efforts to destroy it failed last week. Meanwhile, scientists are working to develop a new and improved termicide formula, giving hope for relief as the automatons also continue to advance. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. Okay, so the next video is when we actually defeat this Super Connolly with the use of that dark fluid. Uh, and you'll see the video on screen now. Check it out. I'm your host, Coretta Kelly. Today, spontaneous military parades broke out across the galaxy, celebrating the destruction of the Meridian Super Colony. Thanks to the courageous efforts of the Helldivers, the planet Meridia was successfully collapsed into a black hole, destroying the super colony and its mutated strain of terminids. Concerns of unforeseeable impacts from the use of dark fluid have proved largely unfounded, experts say, with only minor space-time distortions observed in the area surrounding the singularity. Terminid spread has been vastly reduced following the planet's destruction, and efforts are now underway to develop a new and improved termicide formula. Looking ahead, the Helldivers are also preparing to mount a counterattack against the automatons. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. Okay, so the third video, which you'll see in a quick second, showcases a close call at a dark fluid facility and where this exotic material basically collapsed into a small black hole and it killed 12 facility members here. Check out the video and we'll talk more about it in a quick second. I'm your host, Coretta Kelly. Today, the dark fluid research facility on Moradesh went into emergency shutdown, following what officials are describing as, quote, a close call. According to reports, the volatile exotic material suddenly collapsed into a micro black hole that spaghettified 12 facility members before evaporating. Production of weaponized dark fluid is scheduled to resume tomorrow, with no shortfalls projected in support of the ongoing operation to destroy the Terminid super colony. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. Okay, so actually listening to these, we can see that the actual dark fluid facility is on Moradesh. Now, if we go back to that timeline, that predicted law timeline, we can see where it states, destroy planet. And if you go to no, it says small black hole kills 12 on Moradesh. That coincides with that video perfectly. And it says that the big black hole eats Moradesh. But listening to the video, the third video, even after the incident, it does seem that the production of weaponized dark fluid will continue. And that's why I believe there will be a third option here or another way this can go because again back to that first video when we fail when the galaxy is in mourning and the planet of Modesh basically collapses into a singularity so yeah there's definitely three options here i do believe but you tell me what you think down below now if we go back to that planet mood yeah we can see it's all i don't even know kind of gassy and definitely volatile now we also guys remember from quite a while back now we had what looked to be mutated strains of those terminids. We had those acid chargers and a few other things. And these were data mines quite a while back now when we finally see them on Meridia. Who knows guys, but it does kind of make sense. So yeah, very, very interesting indeed. Now going back to that law timeline, we can see there's two different pathways here, both resulting in the destruction of a planet, either Moradesh, if we fail, I guess, and Meridia, if we don't, I say win or fail. We don't actually know yet. There could be another choice somewhere. Uh, we may have to pick. I do not know. But we can see where it says destroy planet, which is very interesting too, because we've got a brand new exploding planet render put together by Iron Sight, which you're seeing on screen now. This kind of looks like a planet being sucked in on itself does it not maybe to do with that black hole we do not know now going back to the timeline law uh, seen on screen now no matter what path we take in regards to the destruction of Meridia or Meridesh whichever option we go on it all seems to lead in the same direction where we see it states weird space-time stuff now if we go back to the video where we win where we take out the super Connolly, where we destroy Meridia 
you hear Kua Akeli go on to talk about concerns of unforeseeable impacts from the use of dark fluid have proved largely unfounded with only minor space-time distortion surrounding the singularity. Here, take a listen. Concerns of unforeseeable impacts from the use of dark fluid have proved largely unfounded, experts say, with only minor space-time distortions observed in the area surrounding the singularity. So it does seem as though if we are successful with our uses of that dark fluid and we take out the Super Connolly and Meridia, it seems as though next in line will be the Illuminate, which to a lot of us who have followed the Illuminate within Helldivers 2 and all the data mines and leaks over the past couple of months or so, it's been a long time coming. So yes, the Illuminate seems to be next in line after this major story that will be coming pretty soon is over and done with. Now, I'm not sure if we fail, this will be next in line. I probably think it will be. I just think it will be a longer path to the Illuminate. But in saying this, I think as of right now, I still think we're a few months away from the Illuminate, maybe even the point at which we get to use that dark fluid this is a story which could come with the next uh war bond which we saw leaked a couple days back which is about a month or so away too so yeah but yeah a very very interesting future for Howard divers too now credit given where credit is due thanks to iron sites for the renders thanks to rich t for the free videos and the outcomes depend on the path we take or fall down we don't know yet as well as no Wolverine for the images on Meridia and also a Sunday night from Howard Ives Leaks Reddit for the audio to go with the Coretta Kelly news reports. So pretty cool guys, but let me know your thoughts down below. Interested in the future of the game? Tell me down below people. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.